This video is brought to you by Benson's Medical Equipment and Supplies, your one-stop solution for all your home medical needs. Today, we will be going over how to use and break down a portable power chair. Please note that each power chair will differ, but many of them will function just like this one. First, let's go over the operation. To turn the power chair on, you have a green button to press on the joystick. The joystick will then light up, indicating the amount of battery you have left. This power chair is rated to get you about 8.7 miles per charge. Also, looking at the joystick, you have a red horn button, which will make a beep sound when you press it, as well as the speed dial. This is a turn dial. Once you turn it all the way to the left, it will be set to the slowest speed all the way to the right, and it will be set to the fastest speed. We recommend using it on the slowest speed until you become comfortable with the operation. Lastly, on the front of the joystick, you have a charging port. This is one of the ways you can plug your power chair in to charge it every night. For more information about your charging habits, be sure to check the description below for a link to our blog about how to maintain your batteries properly. Now that we went over the details, just how exactly do you use the power chair? Well, when you have the chair turned on, you will use the joystick to drive in whatever direction you push it in, the chair will go. For example, forward will bring you forward, slight right or slight left, will drive you forward and to the right or to the left. If you push it all the way to the right or to the left, it will turn in place, making it easy for you to navigate through small spaces. You can also pull the joystick back to go into reverse. This power chair also has a few other features to note. It comes with a glove compartment underneath the seat on both the right and left side. It also has a seat belt and a rear pocket, which is usually where people will keep their charger. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go over how to break this power chair down. The first thing you will need to do is follow the cable from the joystick to the base of the chair and disconnect it. This will allow you to take the seat off of the power chair. Fold the backrest down and open both of the glove compartments. Underneath the front center part of the seat is a lever. This lever is here to swivel the seat as well as to help remove the seat. Pull up on the lever and lift up on the seat to remove it from the seat post. Next, we have the battery. As you can see, there is a handle in the front and you can lift up and remove the battery from the base of the chair. Also, note that you can charge the battery directly here in front of the battery box. This is especially handy if you are traveling and you don't want to bring the entire power chair in to charge. All you will need is the battery box. Next, we have to disconnect the front and rear half. At the base of the seat post, pull up on the lever here to disengage the two halves. Lift up, and you will see where the two parts connect. It is usually indicated by tape or paint. And there you have it. The power chair is in four pieces and ready to go. To put it together, let's just follow the same steps in reverse. First, line up the painted pieces and slowly lower it until it clicks into place. Next, take the battery box and put that back on the base. Then take the seat and tilt it back so that the glove compartments are open and tip it back onto the seat post. Next, we will need to plug the joystick cable back into the base. Once that is complete, you are good to go. 
One other important part I want to point out. In the rear of the power chair, there are two yellow levers. These levers are the freewheel levers. These will disengage the motors so you can manually push the chair if needed. Be aware that if these are still in freewheel mode, the power chair will not turn on and the joystick will blink with an error code. If you ever have an error code blinking, we advise shutting the power chair off and double checking both of the motors and so that they are properly engaged. Well that's all for our quick rundown on how to operate and disassemble a power chair. We hope you found this video to be useful. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get all the latest content. Thanks for watching.